what is FTP and how do I use it? Okay, well, first of all, what is FTP? FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol. So what does that mean? Well, let's think about it. File transfer, it's got something to do with obviously computer files. Transfer, transfer is just moving things around. And protocol, protocol is just a method or a way of doing something. So file transfer protocol just basically means a way of moving computer files around. And where are we moving them? We're actually moving them from computer to computer, specific types of computers between servers, between your computer usually and another a server. And a server is just a special computer that's just built to host and serve files to uh, to to others. Usually if we're talking about a web server, it's a computer that's built to uh, hold files that are then uh, uh, given or, or provided to people online. So that's where you host websites. That's what FTP is in a nutshell, but why do we care about this and, and how do we use this and why would we use this? Um, if you think back to, uh, let's say whenever you're building, a whenever you're looking at websites, okay, uh, websites are hosted on servers, they're hosted online, okay, uh, on, on these computers that are connected to the internet, and they are, and that's basically when I use a web browser to go to a specific address, in this case I'm going to sandbox.robobunnyattack.com, then uh, what's happening is that all these files, the, the HTML and the CSS files that make up this page, are hosted on a server, and what I'm doing is I'm just asking, hey, can you let me display that on my computer, and, and it just connects, and it just downloads it to my web browser, and I can look at the web page. That's fine, except, um, and we've been building uh, a page. Here's an example where we've been building a page uh, locally, and I can open this up, and it doesn't look the same yet, but that's fine. Um, I can open this up in my browser, but you can see here that this, I'm just looking at this locally. I can't, you know, go to a different computer, uh, at least not a, you know, like say my friend's computer in a different place at a different house, um, and I can't pull up this file, obviously, right? Because this file is just living on my computer. It's just local, okay? Um, what if I want to put this on the web? I need a way to get it to a web server. And the way that we get this file to a web server, typically, is by using FTP, or File Transfer Protocol, so that we can transfer these files, specifically all the files inside here, to a web server that's going to be able to turn around and serve these files to the web surfing public. OK? Um, so. What do we need to do to actually use File Transfer Protocol? Because remember, File Transfer Protocol, it's not a program. It's not, it's not a software application. It is actually just a method, OK? Um, but in order to use this method, we need a specific type of computer program. And that computer program is called an FTP client, or File Transfer Protocol client. And there's tons of them around. Um, and the one that I use is called CyberDuck. And it's got a little ducky icon right here. And you can download it for free. Uh, I'll show you where it is at cyberduck.ch. Um, it's available for Mac or Windows. So take your pick and download for free. It's an excellent program. There's tons of other FTP clients out there, too. Another one that's um, a very, very popular is called FileZilla. And it's excellent as well. I happen to really like CyberDuck simply because it has a very, very easy interface, a very intuitive uh, graphical user interface or GUI. And it's I find it's really good for beginners and, well, even for non-beginners, like um, because I, I use it all the time, I have to admit. I just got used to it and I really like it. So uh, you download and install CyberDuck for free. And once you've got it installed, um, you can start it up. And this is the first window that you get, OK? If you don't get it, just click on File, New Browser. And this always pops up a new browser for you right here. This is called the browser. And uh, this program, OK, CyberDuck, is going to help us transfer files um, from our computer to a web server, OK? Um, now. The first thing you need to do is you need to open up a connection in order to do this. And I'm making the assumption at this point, and see if I just hover over this open connection uh, button right here, a little tooltip appears that says connect to server. And that's exactly what we want to do. We want to connect to some other server and then move our files back and forth um, to there. Now, I'm, I'm proceeding here with the assumption that you have a web server or someone has set up a web server for you and because you're going to need some information to do this. Okay, and here's the information you need. You're going to need the name of your server. 
Okay, if you don't have this information yet, don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to walk through it and and it, hopefully it'll make sense to you. The second piece of information you're going to need is you're going to need what's called an FTP username. And third is you're going to need an FTP password. With those three pieces of information, the server name, the FTP username, and the FTP password, that's going to allow you to log in or connect to this other server and then via FTP using Cyberduck. So let's, let me show you how it works. I'm going to go ahead and um, first of all, I'm going to actually open up a little text file that I have here that contains that information. I've got a little, I'm just made just to, for ease of use here. I've got a little text file here that just contains all the info, uh, the FTP info I need. My server name, which is going to be robobunnyattack.com. My username, which is just robobunny. And my FTP password, which is this long, ridiculous password right here. And um, there's a reason why we want it long and ridiculous, um, and I'll explain later. So now let's show you how this works. So I want to open up a connection. I'm going to ignore everything here as, as nice and shiny as this looks. Just ignore it all, OK? Um, click on Open Connection. And then this new little window appears. And here's a trick. You want to make sure that FTP is selected. Once in a while, I've seen this happen where, I don't know, something else will get selected by accident, and then people are trying to log in using this, and it really messes them up. So make sure that this says FTP, OK, if you are indeed doing a, an FTP transfer. And we're going to type in the server name here. And I'm actually, I'm going to type it in, but you know, uh, I'm actually a bigger fan of cutting and pasting because cutting and pasting means fewer mistakes. Um, and this really matters if you get this wrong or if you put a space here or something like that, that's going to screw you up. Likewise with the ro the username Robo Bunny. OK, um, make sure that's accurate and um, capitalization counts, I think. Well, just assume it does. Um, passwords, you know, honestly, don't try to type this. We're going to copy it. I just double clicked on there to select everything. I'm do, going to do a command C to copy it, or you could just do edit copy. I'm going to paste this in here exactly. And of course, it doesn't. Sh this is for security. It's not going to show it to you. Be careful because, you know, an extra space at the end or something like that. Like, let's say you actually, sorry, I don't mean to be obvious here, but see if you did that, see the problem is going to happen. You're going to get that extra space there, and that's going to screw you up. So make sure that you've actually pasted the correct password. And make sure that add to keychain, if you're on your own computer, it's fine to do this. But if you're on a public computer, make absolutely sure that add to keychain is not checked. Because uh, what that's going to do is if you add it to the keychain, it's going to save your password and your login information in the keychain. And you definitely don't want that because you don't want other people, the next person to use the computer to be able to access your, your web server. That's a bad thing. OK, so now we're going to click Connect. And watch down here. Lots of stuff passes by there quickly. Sorry, I know that was really fast. I wish we could do an instant replay. We can't. It's not that exciting anyway, so don't worry. Um, but this is the down here when all those words pop by. That's telling you the activity that's happening. So that's CyberDuck logging in and doing all its fun stuff and everything. So what are we looking at right now? We're just looking at your server, your web server. And uh, there's going to be some stuff here that doesn't make sense. Don't worry about it. Logs, Mailder, they, these are all folders. You can open and close these folders. OK, like this. Um, don't worry about the logs and the mailder, OK? But um, sandbox.robobunnyattack.com, that looks familiar, doesn't it? Well, yeah, because that happens to be, hey, where's where's my browser? There it is. That happens to be this right here. That just happens to be the way I've got it configured. I've got it so that the folder inside this computer that holds everything here happens to be called sandbox.robobunnyattack.com. I mean, that just makes sense, doesn't it, right? So yeah. Um, you can open this up like that to see what's inside, or you can just double click on it and that moves you into that directory. You're just surfing through, just think of this as being kind of a, I don't know, just a, you're just surfing through the, the file structure, the directory structure on another computer. That's all it is, because remember, a server is just a different computer. Uh, but this isn't your computer anymore, this is somebody else's computer. And that's, and you can use these arrow buttons here to to go back and forth and uh, look at these files. Um, this is actually the index.html file that this is right here that we're looking at. Um, in fact, I could just type index.html and it just loads up right here. It's the same file. Um, and it tells you there are five files there. Uh, I don't know what else to tell you. If you want to know the address, it's always going to be listed up here. See, sandbox.robobunnyattack.com. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, next screencast, uh, I will actually show you how to 
move uh, files on and off and actually transfer files, upload and download files to your server using this program and using the file transfer protocol. Um, but really, I just wanted to show you how to log in. That's a very important skill, logging into your actual um, web server. Um, and if you want to disconnect, always a good idea to disconnect at the end. Just click on the disconnect button, and then you're done. And then you can close that, and you can quit the program. Okay? That's all for now. Uh, I hope that was useful. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.